Saturday morning, Lin finds Tibby sitting outside in his room in his car. And Lin is quite annoyed because Tibby has left the Blue Bulls flag and cap in his room and he doesn't talk. She tells him, hey look, get a grup. It's time to stop moping around now. Get your things, I'm gonna push your car. And let's go. And she always encourages him. Continues to do so. Tells him, hey look, the people, your people are still gonna remember you. Remember, this is a main road. It's the same people coming to and fro from work and back home. Learn to drive your car properly. This is going to be your life. And yeah, she's giving him this heavy pep talk and Tibby is just not reacting. Lin parks him on the pavement and watches him from behind a tree. And then someone, 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 really, really goon school, someone, someone shouts at him. And I absolutely love this because it's as though he's awakened from a long sleep. I love this. You know, after being in such a difficult situation for so long, they shout at him, they ask, hey, where's your legs? And then immediately they start talking rugby. The guy asks, hey, what do you think the blue balls are going to do to the cheetahs? And Tubby's like, yeah, moor. <laughs> he says something like that. Lynn is relieved and in tears on her way back to a corner. So yeah, she's crying, happy tears. Tubby says, yeah, can't do it, I can do it. He says this at 11 o'clock and he refuses Lynn's help. Look, Lynn, thank you for all the help. You don't have to help me anymore. I'll be fine. And he calls her a true friend. And Mimi now sports a tattoo of a little broom on her behind, like a tramp stamp, and shows it to Lynn at their swimming pool. Why? Reasoning behind it, Mimi says that, yes, it empowers me as a woman and reminds her of what she might be if she does not pull her weight. 